Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Creaser. Welcome to week two of third graders being able to check out books from the Indian Grove Library. So today I'm going to review some ways to look for books with some tips and some tricks. If you are not checking out at the Indian Grove Library right now, I still would like you to watch this video and then go on to Destiny and practice. When we get back together, this will still be how you're checking out books from Indian Grove. The easiest way to get to Destiny is use your class link and click the follow it button. That is the Indian Grove Destiny. So it's Destiny by Follett. So if you click that, you will automatically be signed in to Destiny. If you don't use ClassLink, you can go on to Destiny Discover by using the link that's in Seesaw and click Login. Use your username and password that you use to get into um, your Chromebook and other Indian Grove things. So here I am. Here's my pretend student, Sally student. Here is her name. And I made this image. If you want to do that, you can click profile and uh, create the image that you would like there. Now that we're signed in, I'd like to show you some tips on how to find books. So the first one is, if you know the book that you want, just go ahead and type it in the search. This will show all of those books in the series. See, it even shows about the author. So you can just do it that way. Uh, when you're looking like this and you've decided, oh, I'm not going to look at one of these books, or even after you choose it to put on hold, if you click this green button and click Discover, you're going to go back to the home page. You can also look at the recently added books. So if I click See All, I can see all of the recently added books. They, I think they only show you, here they have 15. Um, so you can click hold on one of those. Again, to go back, just click the green button and click discover under the picture of our school. If you know the genre that you like, you can look under topics. These are different genres. This is graphic novels, fantasy, humor, Scary Stories, Mystery, Adventure, Sports Fiction, Animal Stories, Historical Fiction, and Nonfiction. Now, I like fantasy books, so I'm going to click Fantasy. Oh, actually, I'm looking for Sally Student. So Sally Student likes fantasy books. Now, I can look using different ways by author, by subject. I really like to break it down because this has more than 200 results. I'm going to go to interest level. Now, Sally Student is in about second or third grade. So let's say that we want to do an interest level for second to maybe fifth grade. You know yourself as a reader and what you like. Click Apply. And it breaks it down a little bit. This is 677 plus. So there's a lot of these books. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go in. Now the confusing part is when you're looking at series books, it's kind of hard to know what book is the first one? So if I click on maybe Dragon Master Saving the Dragon, Sun Dragon, now I know personally that's not the first one. If I click on more details, it still doesn't say it's the first one 
but look in related stuff. Here is the first one. So if I haven't read that series, I'm going to go to the first that's mentioned. And here we go. Now, if I look at it, it looks pretty interesting to me. So I'm going to put it on hold. So I have it on hold. I'm going to click X to exit out. Now, maybe I want something different than fantasy. So I am going to go to the green box. There's the picture of the school. So I know when I click discover, we're going to go back to home. I can pick another genre or, you know what, I'm thinking about this and I think that I would like to search for books on cats. So I'm going to click cat and then I will click search. Here I want to show you the difference between a picture book, which is in the everybody section, a nonfiction book, which is in our nonfiction section, and a chapter book. Right here, this book, now we can tell it is probably a nonfiction book because there are real pictures of lions and cats. But I know it's a nonfiction book by reading these numbers. So the location of the book is going to be found in the left-hand side of all of the books here. So this says 599.75. I know that that is a nonfiction book. If I click here, it says E-S-E-U. So this is a picture book written by somebody who has the first three letters of his last name are S-E-U. I know it's Dr. Seuss. So an everybody book, a picture book, has an E in front of it. To find a chapter book, you're looking for just the three letters, the three letters of the author's last name. Here is an example of Geronimo Stilton. It has PB in front of the first three letters of the la author's last name. That is because this is a paperback book. Instead of a hardcover, it's a paperback book. So this is a chapter book, though, because it does not have an E and it does not have numbers. 100 plus results. I would like to break it up again into interest level. And I have to do it again. I'm going to do second grade to fifth grade. Hit apply. It's still going to show me a lot of results. Um, so let's say, you know, and I really was interested in this book. I'm going to click more details and click hold. And then I just X out of it. I know that my teacher wants me to get at least one chapter book. So I need to look for a book that has PB or just the three um, first three letters of the author's last name. Uh, I've read Geronimo Stilton before. I don't know that I'm interested in that. So I'm going to keep scrolling till I find something that's interesting to me. Hmm. Sometimes it takes a while to find things. Oh, stick cat. And this one's out. I'm going to click it. If I click more details, even though this is out, it says on hold, but it's out up here. So I'm not going to put it on hold. But look at this, there's more stick cats that are here. Now, if I'm not sure which is the very first one, I can choose the first one here, or I can choose one. And if it is not the first one, sometimes Mrs. Lazarski will grab you the first one instead. 
So if I click hold here, now remember, I'm not coming to pick it up until I get that email. And so now I have some books on hold. I want to check that. So I'm going to go back over to the green button. I'm going to go to my stuff. And if I click holds, I see that I have a bunch of things on hold. These are things I did earlier. Um, I would like this stick dog instead of stick cat, okay? So I decided even though I was looking for cats, I wanted to read stick dog. So I'm going to click on this. I don't want it anymore. If I click more details, I'm going to click unhold. So now these are the books that I have on hold, but I noticed something before. This book is checked out to me. I had already checked this out. If I click on it and click more details, I can see what it was about in case I, what, I'm not sure where it is, okay? Um, also, if I really loved the book, I can click favorite. And now somebody knows that this is a really good book. So if I go back over to holds, I'm not worried about this stuff. I'm going to wait to get an email from Mrs. Lazarski. This was so much information. So I just want to leave you with a couple of things. You're going to wait to come to school until you get an email from Mrs. Lazarski, or sometimes I will send the email. What you would do is go to Indian Grove, you would go just inside the front doors and look alphabetically by last name, your last name, not the book, your last name. So if your last name starts with A, it would be on the top section. If your last name starts with a Z, it's on the bottom section. If you've got a bunch of books, they're rubber banded together and standing up straight. If you got... Um, just one book, it might be laying down, but your name is on the books. If you don't know where the books are, you can't find them, and the secretaries are there, go in and tell them they can call one of us to come help you. The hours are 9.30 in the morning till 6 p.m. on Monday through Thursday, and 9.30 in the morning till 4 p.m. on Friday. You can get four or five books. And if you're getting a series, please to, do not get all the books in the series. We only get two books from one series at a time. So if you wanted Stick Dog, please don't put four Stick Dogs on hold. You're only going to get two. Enjoy. Happy reading. You might have to look through this video again. Right now, what I'd like you to do is go online, go to Destiny, and practice this. If you're not getting books, I still want you to notice chapter books, notice picture books. If you are getting books, please put books on hold. Have a great week.